scammers. They're lurking in every part of our lives. Since they have such great tactics, sometimes yes. it's hard to spot them. So Liz Fredericks from the BBB is back to give us a few tips on how we can protect ourselves. Yeah, thanks, DJ. <laughs> we had a new research come out this last week and really focused on um, researching people who actually fall for scams, okay. those people who are losing money. So the top three scams where you found people lose money are online purchases, mostly fake websites, fake ads, things like that, tech support scams, and also employment. So then we looked at, well, who falls for it versus doesn't? We find that victims tend to suffer from isolation mm -hmm. and loneliness, and they also have financial strain. So those are characteristics for people who do lose money on scams. And our tips would be, first of all, don't isolate yourself. If you're contacted by someone, find a friend or advisor, check with them first before you ever spend money. Secondly, get financial advice and get some financial literacy to get yourself out of debt. A lot of these people are in debt and they also tend to be very young. So those are just a few tips to help people really protect themselves. I think a question I have is about the isolation because a lot yes. of times, you know, people don't choose to be alone. Maybe they just don't have family members around. Um, right. You know, they've retired and don't necessarily have that day-to-day -day interaction. So mm -hmm. are there any tips for things that people may be able to do in terms of organization? Well, you know, what's interesting here is the isolation we're talking about are primarily younger adults. Wow. These are not seniors. Wow. So we're thinking that these are younger adults. Typically, they're spending a lot of time on computers mm -hmm. versus having social face-to-face. -face. Wow. Yes. Uh, where we did find they do have help is if there's third-party intervention. So in other words, they go and try to take a lot of money out, and a bank teller or someone in a, in a business mm -hmm. starts asking questions. Mm -hmm. And if they get that intervention, they almost never lose money. Wow. Yes, so it's really younger people that tend to have this sort of feeling of loneliness. And so I think if you see that in a young person, then I would encourage those around them, reach out to them yeah. and really connect with them because they also tend, especially if you're just out of college, you have a lot of debt mm -hmm. and we find financial debt is part of what drives people. They feel like they're not getting ahead, Yeah, you know, so they see maybe a quick way to make money and it's a scam. Got it. Yes. And then also we talk about the literacy part of it all. Yes. Um, BBB has so many great resources for folks to check out, right? Yes, we do have a lot of um, information on our website. One thing I would encourage everyone is we have a blog or an article every day on a newer scam, something that is happening. Just check our website, BBB.org. We also have financial information. And you know what? A lot of local credit unions and banks, they have free financial literacy for people in the area and you don't have to be a customer. So I would recommend people check that out too. Very, very good information, Liz. So. Thanks for sharing with us. Yes.